Hi guys, welcome back for another video. Um, obviously, as you can see behind me, I've got uh, two steering wheels. It's one of the things I sent, uh, tend to cop a lot of flack for, which is the old bus wheel. But um, I guess today's video is going to be breaking down, um, obviously, why I use the big wheel. Uh, I thought it was an interesting thing that um, Thomas Miserable on his Timmy's TV uh, put up something a couple weeks ago uh, based around that and kind of talked about why he liked it but I don't feel, feel like he really, uh, I guess, broke it down enough um, for me to justify, you know, to everyone else that, that that's the, the way to go or anything. But again, another preferential thing that I like is, um, is the big wheel, and like I say, this video will break down kind of, I guess, the, the pros and cons for it, if you call it that, and uh, obviously why I choose to, to roll the big bus wheel. Okay, so what we have in front of us here is obviously a 17-inch um, Joe's steering wheel, which is obviously my choice of wheel and here is the um, the 15 inch uh, Joe's steering wheel obviously this is a flat wheel versus a dished wheel that the relevance of that is not really anything some guys like to have the wheel up close to them some further away so dish versus non-dish is a is truly a preferential thing with no real indifference but anyway the big thing this 15 if we see for reference basically fits almost on the inside of the 17 so as a reference for size there we go um, what I've done to kind of explain this is I've on both steering wheels I've marked a little spot which is just on the weld line in the center of the spoke as well so obviously follow the spoke up and it's in the center of the of the diameter or the the tubing and then here yeah, same again center of the tubing and uh, obviously middle of the spoke. Um, again, the way I've set this up on the car, we'll turn around here. So I've got a stop. This is a trusty setup block, which as we turn the steering wheel right around, it creates a, I guess, a false full lock. The reason I've used this is if I go to absolute maximum lock, um, the steering wheel just goes way too far for what we're trying to kind of show for the moment. So. Um, like I say, I've got the wheel so it turns to the, its natural stop, turning left, and then I guess on our stop here. For those that most, most of you know that, you know, if I was to bring this to full lock, it kind of goes past 60-ish degrees, if not a little bit more. So, big uh, opposite lock we can get in these cars, turning to the right. Okay, so as we can see here, what I've done is I've obviously got, we'll start with a 15-inch wheel. Um, I've got it so... The, um, our datum mark that I've talked about earlier is up at the top of the wheel and we've turned hard hard left and that's like I say it's ended up in that central uh, spot up at the top what I'll do here is we'll turn it full lock to our, um, to our artificial stop which I'll put on and then I'll measure from underneath the dash here up to our little datum mark what we've got here is 395 millimeters now I'll explain this a little bit in a second, but we'll get the second measurement off the bigger wheel now. So again, obviously got our, our big wheel this time, which is a 17 inch. Now we'll swing around to uh, our full stop or our full lock on the artificial stop. Now what I'll do is I'll take measurement from underneath here. And that measures about 420. Okay, so getting back to that, the difference between the two obviously was 25 millimeters, which is the distance traveled down by your hand. Now, the reason I gave that measurement from the dash to here, yes, it's not a degree measurement, because this is one thing that a lot of people don't understand is changing the diameter of the wheel, it doesn't change the amount of degrees you have when you talk about a steering ratio and the input and output speed of what's going on so um, quite often you hear about guys changing the steering ratio and they'll change the drag length uh, pickup points or the steering arm up the front um, they usually have one or two holes which you can shift in or out which obviously speeds up or slow, uh, slows it for that fact depending on which way you want to go what that does is changing those bolt holes allows the steering wheel to physically turn more you know it, instead of going from here 
to here. So we're roughly going about 120 degrees in this sweep that I've set up. If I was to change the ratio to a slower ratio, what that would do would potentially make the steering wheel come further down, maybe more to like 180 degrees or uh, to the likes of. If I was to speed it up, however, it would potentially only maybe come down to 90 degrees. You know, with a fast steering ratio, it aids when you're really trying to get a, like aggressive moves uh, done with the wheel. But when you talk about a lot of like driver training or um, you know finesse, it really comes down to the micro movements that you need to put in. So that can be great in the rough and heavy, but once it's the cars uh, in the slick, especially the cars really need to be finessed. So you can't have sharp, aggressive, jerky movements, which what they call a slow ratio, which means the wheel has to travel more at this end for the front wheels to turn less you know as if you were to jerk the wheel here at the front wheel you'd only see a small change as opposed to a real aggressive jerk here being an aggressive jerk at the, the at the wheels themselves being what, what we call a faster ratio with changing just the steering wheel diameter we have changed the ratio without physically changing the ratio so with the ratio I'm talking about is the ratio that your arm travels up and down and we're in the cockpit here so my hand has to travel another inch further to make this wheel do the same amount of work that we would with the, the smaller 15 inch steering wheel. Um, sounds like you're just start, starting to wear yourself out, right? Well, no you're not. That being, yes I have to travel an inch further more to get the same output. But the question is, is do I actually need that extra inch of output most of the time? And the answer is no. Um, for those I guess not familiar with midget racing, the steering in these is super aggressive. When you're talking about your wheel input here to the like the steering or tires at the front, we're not far off actually being one to one. And here's a good example. So roughly the steering wheel is straight at the moment. Um, this is all our left hand lock, which is probably I'd call that maybe somewhere between 30 degrees maybe a little bit less and then pull steering lock up the front and we're talking about 75 degrees so we're talking a lot of lock now if you imagine this is your road car we've gone from down here so this is our start point up and over the steering wheel has only turned half a turn for its full travel now obviously jump in your road car and drive it through the car park at pack and save back into a car park, you've probably turned the wheel maybe two and a half to three times to go lock to lock as you're trying to back around a trolley and some old lady that's trying to put her groceries away. So for reference, that's how aggressive the steering is on these. Hence the reason why these, I believe certain things like these, you, things you can do to, to actually help yourself by just slowing your own input down. Another point I like is, I've had it happen to me and Obviously this being a 17 inch steering wheel versus a 15 inch steering wheel, it gives you an extra inch either side um, of leverage. Uh, like I was saying before, these have super aggressive steering and the ratios are, are super fast. Well, the trade off is you need power steering for that. Well, it's not uncommon to lose power steering uh, through a race, whether that be through a pump failure, maybe you've split a line on a hose and it's, it's dropped some fluid or it, it can be even silly as sometimes you can end up tipped over in a, in a heat race or a feature um, and lose a bit of fluid out of your steering reservoir and uh, come the end of a long race, say 30, 40 laps or something and you've tipped over in the first couple and actually not sustained any damage, the fu fluid has got too hot and either just started to degrade or um, either ran itself out and the steering goes heavy. Well, that extra inch of leverage tends to give you something you can actually hang on to. So, um, for a little guy like myself, that's a big, big thing with the steering wheel. Is um, there's many times I've actually had to finish races with with no power steering, um, just through I guess uh, freak mechanical failure. I think that kind of covers most of it off. Um, I'm sure everyone's got some more comments and stuff that they'd like to uh, to add um, if they feel like. Uh, they'd like to. Um, don't be afraid to drop a comment about it um, if you've got any ideas or any questions specifically. Uh, yeah, 
one of the um, very, very simple pieces of a car, but I guess probably something that's, again, maybe overlooked. I, I compare it to like a, a throttle. Um, everyone talks about having, you know, enough throttle throw that you, you want it long enough so you've got nice, good feel, but not too long that it's, it takes too long but to, to kind of get what you want and becomes numb. So obviously the steering wheel is the exact same thing um, when we're talking about the diameter of the wheel, that is. Um, if you imagine the big wheels like having a long throw on your throttle versus the smaller wheels like having a, 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 a short uh, throw on your throttle. Um, believe it or not, both work. <laughs> I know for a fact uh, one very, very competitive midget driver out there, Brad Mosen, is a, a big 14-inch steering wheel guy, so he's, he likes a really, really small steering wheel. I, don't, I mean, I've personally sat in his car and tried to use it, and um, it's, it's awkward, and it's definitely not for me. But, like I say, he makes it work, and that's, that's his deal. So, um, like I say, it's, it's not that smaller wheels don't work, or a big wheel is the be-all and end-all. Um, this is, again, my personal opinion about it all. So, like I say... Steering wheels, simple piece of a car, I guess it's probably forgotten. And uh, like I say, we'll finish the video up there. And uh, like I say, don't be afraid to um, drop a comment. And um, don't forget to subscribe.